All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Brendan Kennedy. I'm a Design Live designer and founder of Sobro Creative. Uh, um, today, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial um, on uploading music into Squarespace. I love building artist websites. I've been working on them for about two years, so I kind of try to dissect what artist websites look like on Squarespace. Uh, you know, the best ways to uh, utilize the Squarespace platform to build the best artist website possible and so I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials to help out musicians artists who want to dive deeper into the Squarespace platform maybe you're just learning it for the first time or maybe you just need some helpful tips either way if you're an artist this stuff's going to benefit you I'm really excited so let's dive into the first series of the tutorial and so it's just uploading music so just to break it down um, this is just I'm on the Bedford template right now um, uh, obviously building an artist website for this guy Forrest, a really cool artist here in Nashville and we're just getting started so it's very bare bones but like I said um, we're going to be doing a series of tutorials and we're going to get this rolling. So with that being said you have a few options when you're uploading music into Squarespace. You know they have a SoundCloud block that you can use, you can embed SoundCloud uh, singles and Spotify playlists in there. You can obviously include iTunes links. There's kind of a plethora of options. You can upload your songs directly. The two I'm gonna focus on are embedding SoundCloud singles and embedding the SoundCloud link into your profile, which is gonna look something like this. And then also uploading directly into Squarespace. Before we get into that, I'm gonna break down the two main differences. So what I like personally about uploading with SoundCloud is you can have people follow you on SoundCloud and that also adds if someone listens to your song on your website that's going to count as a play on your actual SoundCloud profile versus when you upload directly into Squarespace you have no way really of keeping track of those plays Squarespace doesn't have that option implemented then yeah so you can't keep track of it and then you can't gain an organic following which in today's standards you need a following uh, you know labels are going to look at your plays on SoundCloud, Spotify, and you really want to harness that community and grow those. So personally, I'm a fan of embedding either SoundCloud or Spotify over uploading directly into Squarespace. Now you can also sell your single on there, but that's for another time. But we're going to dive in here and I'm going to show you how to upload a SoundCloud link into your artist's website. So first, like I said, I have SoundCloud already pulled up here. What we're going to do, this is going to, I'm going to show you how to upload a single first. So just to upload the single, you're going to click share, then you're going to click embed, then you're going to copy that code. A cool feature that I like too about this option is if you click more options, you can change, oh, in this viewer specifically, if you click more options in this viewer, you can edit the color of the SoundCloud button, which is cool. So I'm just going to go up, I'm going to grab this color of this button real quick, go here. And then I'm just going to copy that hex code and then it changes the button to red. Then I'm going to copy that and we're going to go down into the music section, click edit. As you can see now, I have two different blocks here pulled up. I'm going to delete them and start from scratch. I have a code block and a SoundCloud, the actual SoundCloud block that is implemented into Squarespace directly. So this is why I like using a code block because this allows you to upload the single so let's see, here we'll go, code, delete that code, paste the iframe, and now we have the single. And so I think personally this just looks cleaner, having uh, the single, you can select, you know, say you have an EP, you can select five songs and uh, individually and have that. I just like this layout more personally, I mean it's up to your preference and what you want, but this is just my personal preference and I think it looks cleaner. Or if you want to upload the SoundCloud, you know, your entire SoundCloud profile onto your Squarespace site. You just copy this URL, go back here, and then we're gonna add the SoundCloud block. And then you just paste the SoundCloud URL. And as you can see, you have now all of your songs that are on your SoundCloud profile. Another thing with this, just be wary, a reason why I don't like this layout is because on mobile, when you're scrolling on mobile, it can lead to complications. Like I said, it's personal preference, but I, like you said, you want less friction with the user. So this is why I would recommend this layout. 
Next, I'm going to talk about uploading your music directly into Squarespace via the audio slash album block. Um, pretty simple, you're just going to go into the main navigation, you're going to click this plus button, you're going to add the album block in, I'm going to title it music for this case. It's going to open up, obviously you have the album art, album info, description, and then where you upload the tracks. The album art, I'm just going to drag an image from the other screen that I have. I like to keep it at a thousand by a thousand pixels personally. Um, I think that's a good, a good size and you definitely want to keep it that one to one aspect ratio. That's very important. Next, uh, the single uh, album info, we're just going to title what the single is. It's titled Say Yes to Me. Artist name, clearly Forrest Finn. Description, uh, just, you know, that's what you want in whatever your personal preference is. And then uploading the track. Just gonna go into Finder here, real quick. Go into, let's see, yeah. blah blah blah. Let's see. There we go. Gonna drag that there. Usually give it a couple seconds. Sometimes you have to save and then refresh, and then it will show up randomly. That's just how Squarespace rolls. But. So we'll just wait on that. There we are. We're gonna save. And there you go. That is how you upload directly into Squarespace. So now just to recap what we've done in this tutorial, I've shown you how to embed SoundCloud into your Squarespace website. And I've also shown you how to upload audio directly into your Squarespace site. Like I said, I personally default to uploading Spotify or um, SoundCloud because like I said, if people listen to that on your website, that counts as a play or a listen on Spotify and SoundCloud. So that is why I personally default to that choice, whether uh, rather as uploading directly into Squarespace that you can't keep track of your listens and then that's not growing your other communities as well you know people listen to it and then that's it but rather with spotify and soundcloud you're gaining that extra listener you're gaining that extra follower which is so crucial uh, on growing those platforms especially in the modern um, music industry so that is what I personally would recommend um, stay tuned I'm gonna keep up with these tutorials um, building out an artist website uh, certain things that artists need and yeah uh, stay tuned guys I'm pumped and thank you for watching